welcome to Miss Temple's apartment. Yay! So today I have a really great book for you by Mo Willems. It's called Waiting is Not Easy. Um, let's read. Gerald! I have a surprise for you. Yay! What is it? The surprise is a surprise. Oh. Is it big? Yes. Is it pretty? Yes. Can we share it? Yes. I cannot wait. You will have to. Wait, why? What? Why? The surprise is not here yet. So I will have to wait for it? Yes. Oh! Uh. Oh well, if I have to wait, I will wait. I am waiting. Waiting is not easy. Piggy, I want to see your surprise now. I am sorry, Gerald, but we must wait. I am done waiting. I do not think your surprise is worth all this waiting. I will not wait anymore. Okay, I will wait some more. It'll be worth it. We have waited too long. It is getting dark. It is getting darker. Soon will we not be we will not be able to see each other. Soon will we will not be able to see anything. We have wasted the whole day. Well, um we have waited and waited and waited and waited and waited! And for what? For that. <gasps> that was worth the wait. I know. Tomorrow morning, I want to show you the sunrise. I cannot wait. And then there's the picture. <laughs> what a good story. Okay, so today what you are going to need is a piece of paper, a large piece of saran wrap, and watercolors, a cup for water, and a brush or two. Hmm, wonder what we could be doing. I'm going to get set up and I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so we are back. I have my cup with water. I have my saran wrap. I have uh, my watercolors, a piece of paper, and a brush. I'm going to take my paper and I'm going to put it to the side for now. Then I'm going to take my water and swish around my brush in it, getting it pretty wet. And then I'm going to paint water on my saran wrap. Hmm. Make sure to get not very wet, but make sure that it's as big as your paper. You want it to be pretty big, but you don't want it soaking wet so that when 
we put our paper on top, the water squeegees out. You wanna make sure that it's just wet enough. If you can see the droplets, that's good, but if you see a puddle, that's too much. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my brush, get some more water, might put a few more little drops here, okay? There's the hair in the water. Okay, so I'm gonna take blues, purples, pinks, blues, purples, pinks, and blacks. We're gonna start with blue. And they're gonna be little puddles. And if some parts are a little bit less than others, that's okay. But try not to go past the, um, where you stopped with the water. I'm gonna wash off my brush. I'm gonna take some pink. It's like a very bright pink. I'm gonna go in there, just in some spots. Wash off again, get some more, maybe this lighter pink. Some more water. Okay, I'm gonna go in with this purple and maybe I'll do a light blue too. Making sure if your paper is getting a little funky, you wanna make sure, I mean, your saran wrap is getting a little funky, you wanna pull it just a little bit so it gets as flat as possible. And now I'm gonna go in with some black. I know I said some light blue, but I'm thinking just some black would be nice. Okay. And now I'm gonna put the light blue. Let's do one. Maybe this one a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think that's pretty good to me. Okay, now I'm gonna take my brush, leave it in my water and move it to the side. Now I'm gonna take my watercolors and I'm gonna put them to the side too. I'm gonna take my saran wrap, making it as flat as possible. I'm gonna take my paper and I'm gonna put it right on top of what we've done. Once you've put it down, do not move it. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna push some, put some pressure down so that we gather. Okay. Ooh, I have a feeling about this. Oop. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip up part of my saran wrap, okay? And I'm gonna flip my picture over. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna move some of these around. So look what's happening. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our saran wrap and you're gonna pull it off in one swoop. Now I probably could have put more color on it. So what I'm gonna do is if you're happy with the way that yours looks, fine, you can be done. I'm gonna take some more watercolor just add a few little spots and you can use the saran wrap I'm gonna do it this now I still have some paint on my saran wrap 
So I'm going to move this to the side. And I'm going to use those spots again. You can be as free and as willy-nilly as you want with this. I'm going to take this pink color. And now I'm picking some sections that I want to work. So I'm going to, you know, just go like this. Ooh, cool. And this, you can take your brush. Now I'm going to fold this up and throw it away. We're going to take our brush. take our brush and we're gonna paint some sections in if you want making sure to make the paper wet and notice that I'm dotting it and not really um, painting with the strokes because we want it to kind of emulate the same or look the same I'm gonna take some of this blue get a little bit more water what's happening there making sure that we're getting enough water so it does look a little, even put some here. And I'm gonna do last but not least, some black in this corner, adding some water, boop, 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 boop. Filling the whole page. Now, if yours is good, you don't have to fill the page, it's just, a little bit of fun. I'm gonna add some darker spots. Okay, I'm happy with that. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to sign one of the corners. I'm gonna sign right here. I'm gonna just put my initials. 2020 exclamation point. And now you have created a watercolor galaxy, just like we saw in the book, Waiting is Not Easy by Mo Willems. I hope you enjoyed today. Can't wait to see what you've made. Send them to me at htemple at schools.nyc.gov. Can't wait to see. Hope you had a good time.